So I just recently received a package in the mail from a friend in Germany. His name is Billy Vasquez, and his YouTube channel is Bushcraft Southwest Germany, and also his Facebook group is Bushcraft Southwest Germany. So I, I entered a contest <clears throat> and won it, and Billy has been designing his own stove and uh, gave away one of the prototypes for the contest. This is his, I, I believe it's his second prototype. So, in the package I received some, uh, some sticks. The assembly for the stove. An ash plate. This is kind of like a ventilated plate for the Trangia. I'll show you this. And this is the grate for the bottom. So I'll go ahead and put this together and give you a, an overview of what it looks like. This is his, uh, his design here. It's a, uh, I can't even think of the name of the lizard, but it's holding an axe, which is pretty cool because this is his, his design, you know. It's always neat when someone gets to, to make their own stuff or have their own stuff made. So this is all stainless steel. I'd say probably 18 gauge stainless steel. Could be thinner. So it goes together pretty easily, kind of like the old uh, um, bush box. It's just got some slots in it. They get fitted together. And then the last piece, which is the back. Slides down, so now you have the four sides together. This is the feed port here. That's why I said it's kind of like the old bush box. And this stuff, once you get the stove together, you can slide these things down inside. So you can see you have these two slots here, and you have these peg holes. Well, on each one of his his uh, accessories, you have pegs that come off, just like this, pegs, with a finger groove there, so you can get your finger in there and slide it down in place on all four of these, or I'm sorry, three. So the first thing I want to put in is this uh, this ash plate. And I'm going to line these holes up with the bottom, the very bottom slots. And it's adjustable, so that way I can, I can change it if I want. If I wanted to raise it up a little bit, I could do that. Or if I wanted to take the ash plate completely out. So now we have the, uh, the grate here. And this will go in on the next set of holes in the back. And then it just slides into place. It's that simple. So now you have the ash catcher at the very bottom, the grate on top of that, which is about, I would say maybe three quarters of an inch clearance, a half an inch clearance. So now you have the option of using this as a, a wood stove. I mean, you can see you get pretty large pieces of wood in there if you wanted to. After you have the fire going, some coals. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the sticks. Now you have slots in your sticks. And these are made to set up in all kinds of different configurations here. So I have them both set up in the back like that. So you can have the fire going and put your cup on it. 
or your water bottle. You can set this up to where you can put the whole pot on it, the billy pot. And if I use this, which is the grate basically for the Trangia, just slides into place. Oh, whoops, backwards. Put the pegs in the holes right there. Slides into place. Now I can put my Trangia down in the bottom there. Put the sticks over the top. And I can use it to boil water, cook water, cook food, whatever you want to do with it. Or, now this will only work with the larger pot because the, the large pot will fit up here without, without these sticks. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, if I put the sticks through the slots, that. Now the Trangia just barely fits on the lips, but it'll fit there on top of the stick so I can put the pot on the very top. So overall pretty, pretty ingenious little design. If you take this out, now you have another lower setting here that I can get the sticks in so I can lower my cup if I really had to. If I, if I just wanted to cook over coals, I could lower my cup to where it's closer to the coals. Same with a water bottle. So that way it's completely surrounded and enclosed and it's not letting, it's not allowing that much heat to escape. Just like if I were to put my cup up here, it's not allowing that much heat to escape except for through here. <clears throat> but you're still allowed to feed uh, sticks and firewood if you choose to use it that way. So overall, I think this is a really cool design. Anytime you get to make your own gear or have it made for you, I think that's just, that's really cool that you would have the ability to do that. Now this, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to set this up next to the, the firebox. I haven't done that yet. I wanted to see what the uh, size comparison would be next next to each other because I believe that this box is larger than the fire box. I'm going to call this, I'm going to dub this the billy box. Just like we have the billy pot here on top of the billy box. So I thought that was pretty cool. The guy's name is Billy. So, if you, here I'll move the camera so you can see it better. If you look at the comparison, there's not m that much of a difference. I, if you look at the top of the billy box, or I'm sorry, uh, the billy box, it is complete, perfectly square. If you look at the fire box, it is an odd shape, so that way it, you can fold it in on itself because it has hinges. But overall, they're about the same height and really close to the same width. I would have to say the billy box is a little bit, a little bit wider than the firebox. But only by, say, 
a half an inch or a quarter of an inch somewhere in there but overall with the accessories that that he supplied with it I would say this this thing is a solid little stove and uh, I think it's really neat I, I don't know I, I kind of I like stoves just because you have options even if you're not allowed to have fire in some places they allow you to uh, to use a have a contained fire sorry my attention is down at the creek because I just had two coyotes run by or actually there was a there's four of them I believe but To have coyotes here is a little unnerving when we have a dog and a cat, but either way. And to see them in the daytime, that's strange to me. I don't usually, not usually, I don't usually see coyotes in the daytime, but it happens. They get hungry enough, they'll go out looking for some food. Probably looking for someone's house cat. So anyways, that is the billy box, or what I call the billy box. It's not the name he has given it because he, he didn't have a name for it, and he's not sure. So overall, I'd say this is a really cool little stove. And uh, I'm about to make another video of a burn-in, the first official burn in this stove. Thanks for watching, guys and gals.